here we go with another story from the Buddhist Animal Tales and this is called The Boar and the Tiger. Long ago, south of Gaia, a village carpenter found a baby boar trapped in a pit in the forest. He took the little piglet home and raised him as a pet. The piglet grew into a very large intelligent boar with impressive sharp curved tusks. With his tusks, the boar would help the carpenter turn logs and with his teeth he would chisel the wood. He was a very useful and friendly creature, but also quite strong, and in time the carpenter grew concerned that the other villagers would fear the boar and kill him. So he thought he would lo love the boar he thought he loved the boar very much. One day he led him deep in the forest and let him go free. The boar wandered for many days, looking for a good place to live. At last, he found a wonderful cave, surrounded by bulbs, roots and fruits to eat. There, he was approached by a large pack of fellow boars. I'm glad to see you, said the carpenter's boar. May I live in this place with you? It is a nice place, said the leader of the pack, but very dangerous. Every morning, a tiger comes here and carries off any game he can find. Every morning. Every morning. Only the tiger and all of you with such large tusks? Only one tiger and all of you with such large tusks? That's more the other question. Yes. We will put an end to this, said the carpet and spore. Early the next morning, before dawn, he organized the boars. He put the mothers and suckling babies in the middle of the pack. Around them he assembled the sows with no young and the young boars. And finally, the, at the outer edge of the pack, he placed the strong boars with their long, sharp tusks. The tiger arrived in the morning sun, looking for a piglet for breakfast. When he saw the formation of boars, he was stunned. He glared at them. The boars glared back. Steadily, he crept toward the group, his fangs bare. The carpenter's boars stepped forward and shook his head. His long toss gleamed in the pink morning sun. The rest of the large boars advanced with him. The tiger star stared at this barricade of pointed ivory and thought how easily their tusks could penetrate his beautiful coat. He reversed his crawl and disappeared into the forest. We have won, said the boars. Unity prevailed. From then on, the pack of boars lived in their plentiful cave home, led by the wise, brave carpenter's boar. Let unity prevail, my dears.